Look at this right here. These are my new fans. That's a big difference. I think it's good. Good, man. What you think, Chris? It's, it's looking nice under there. Hey, man, y'all heard him, man. So next thing next. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm satisfied, you two, you two. Is your engine overheating? Well, say no more. I've been working on cars for over 35 years. And I just learned what I'm about to share with you today. Today, YouTube, I want to share a gem with you that 9 out of 10 people don't know. This probably the root cause of your engine overheating. But before we do that, I want to ask you a question. How would you like to know how to do a LS swap in an old school car that run like this? LS3 swap, looking at almost 600 horsepower. We ain't put it on the dyno yet, YouTube. We did our own wiring. We show y'all how to do that, YouTube, step by step. Did our own fuel system. We show y'all how to do that as well, step by step, YouTube. Everything you need to know. LS swap, baby. As easy as you possibly can, as inexpensively as you possibly can without sacrificing quality or performance. Let Chevy R Us help you do your LS swap, YouTube. We a family, man. We gonna do this thing together. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your notification bell. That way you see all the videos when we post them. And I need for you to drop me a comment in the comment section and say I'm riding with Chevy's R Us, Tone. Y'all ready? Let's get it. What it do, what it do. You too, man. What's happening, man? Y'all know what time it is, man. We out here in the garage, man. We're going to get right to it. You know what I'm saying? I've been having some engine overheating issues, man. And you know what? I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I've been battling this problem on the 72 Impala, the LS3 swap. And you know what, man? I've learned so much because I've been battling this issue. And everything that you go through is not for you, man. Because I'm getting ready to share something with y'all, man. I've been working on cars for over 30 years. And I just learned what I'm about to share with y'all today. It make complete sense, man. I'm talking about, yeah, you can change thermostat. You can bleed the system down. Uh, you can replace coolant hoses and, and do all that. All that's good, man. But I'm going to drop something on y'all, man, that you probably didn't know because I didn't know it. Now, if you done an engine swap or you done an LS swap or you just don't have the original engine in your vehicle, man, and you got overheating problems, this right here, this may be one of the main causes of your engine overheating. I'm just telling you straight up, man. And I didn't know it, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I want to share it with y'all so that y'all will know and y'all won't have the same problem that I'm having. Because this right here, this is all about you. Even though Tupac said it's all about me. With Chevy R Us, it's all about you. So let me help you save a whole lot of money by preventing engine damage due to overheating. Hey, that's exactly what Chevy R Us is going to do. But the only two things I need for you to do. Number one, make sure you watch this video all the way through. Don't skip through it. And number two, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. Check it out. I recently did an LS swap on the 72 convertible Impala. Let me show it to y'all real Here's quick. Here's the 
72 convertible Impala that we recently completed the LS3 swap on. Uh, know y'all see everything, man. And uh, if you have not seen this build, man, we show you how to do this exact same build on the YouTube page, man, step by step. Every part of the way, man, wiring, fuel system, everything. But let me tell you the problem that I'm having. Look at this right here. Y'all see these fans? Those fans look flat right there. You know, the motors are small on them, and they flat. Uh, these are my new fans. I know y'all see, man, the, the motors on these guys ain't flat at all. They uh, look pretty big, a lot heavier. Y'all see that? That's a big difference. Now, what I did not know is that each electronic cooling fan... Excuse me, y'all. I'm trying to get the trash out, too. So the trash man don't uh, leave me. But what I did not know is that each cooling fan, it has a rating, what's called a CFM rating. And the rating is the amount of air that that electronic cooling fan moves through the fan. CFM stands for cubic feet per minute is the amount of air that the fan can move through the fan. And so the ratings matter, man, because if you got a four cylinder engine requires at least 1250 CFM in order to keep that engine running cool. A six cylinder engine requires at least 2000 CFM in order to keep it cool. And a small V8, uh, anything 5.0 liter and under takes at least 2,500 CFM to keep that engine cool. But if you got a larger displacement V8, like a, a, a 5.3 or a, a 6.0 or 6.2 liter or something like that, you can require at least 2,800 or higher CFM in order to keep your engine cool. Now, if you got an LS motor, you got a hot cam in it, you got head work done, you got all the goodies inside of your bill, and you got a large displacement V8, you got to think, man, you can't go out here getting these cheap uh, electronic cooling fans, man. That stuff ain't going to keep your engine cool because it ain't pulling enough air through the fan to cool off your antifreeze and your radiator, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, as long as I'm driving, I'm okay. I'm good. I don't have no engine overheating problem. You know what I'm saying? But once I stop and go, stop and go, it starts to heat up, and then the, the, the fluid level boils over in the overflow tank, and it's just a nonstop effect. You know what I'm saying? But the car run good. And also, if you got cheap cooling fans, man, they can stop operating at its maximum efficiency, meaning the motors can turn over and they can wear out a little bit and they can stop performing the best that they could perform. And if they stop doing that, they're going to stop pulling as much air as it possibly can through your radiator to cool your car off. So my advice to you, a word to the wise, hey, spend good money on some cooling fans. Do your research and find out exactly how much CFM the fans can draw before you buy them. Because you might be buying fans for nothing, like I did. You know what I'm saying? They worked a little bit, but now they don't work no more. So that's why I got the replacement cooling fans that we're going to be installing in the next video. In the next video, we're going to be measuring the amount of CFM with a tool that you can get at Harbor Freights or you can order it offline. It's a tool that you can use to uh, put in uh, behind the fan and it'll actually measure how much CFM that fan is drawing. That's what we're going to be doing in our next video. And then we're going to replace the fans with the upgraded bigger motors on them that draw more wattage, draw a higher CFM, and then we're going to measure it again and see what the difference is. You know what I'm saying? So y'all look forward to that, man. If I can help save you some money 
if I can help save you some frustration and help save you some time, that's what I'm going to do. So y'all keep that in mind, man. I've been battling this issue and I never questioned it, not one bit, because I've learned so much throughout this process and now I'm stronger and now I can bless you all with this knowledge and this information that God has allowed for me to learn, man. If you don't think that this is your problem, hey, click on that link in the top right corner and I guarantee you I got the answer to your engine overheating problem in that playlist, man. If this your first time on the channel and you like learning about stuff like this, and you like learning how to do a LS swap, like the one you see in this 72 convertible Impala, the most inexpensive, cost-effective way you can without sacrificing quality or performance, hey, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and drop me a comment. Let me know what kind of old school car you working on or what kind of car your heart desires and what kind of LS swap you want to do. Let Chevy R Us help you do your LS swap. YouTube, YouTube.